There's an assumption that's often made, which is simply not true when people think about education. And the assumption is that life is linear, that you can anticipate and foresee and predict uh, the lives that people will have. And, and that assumption shows itself in the way that the school curriculum is managed, how it's narrowed to certain disciplines that are thought to be more useful. It shows itself in the obsession with standardized testing, for example, where uh, all the emphasis is on conformity. And when you talk to politicians about why schools are like this currently, uh, often they'll say it's in the interest of the economy. This strikes me as very ironic because if you speak to business leaders, uh, they say they want people who are creative, who can innovate, who can think differently, who can work in teams and who can communicate. All the things which are not now being taught in schools that have to submit to these rather standardized programs of policies. So um, the economic imperative for creativity is absolutely clear. There was a report published by IBM which was based on a survey of 3,000 CEOs around the world. And they were asked what their priorities are as they face the future. What are things that wake them up at night? And the thing that came out top was creativity. They said, how do we run businesses that systematically promote creative thinking and creative achievement and innovation? And of course, they're now being uh, faced with a generation of students coming through from schools who haven't been encouraged to develop these abilities at all. So the economic imperative for teaching creative, creativity systematically in schools, I think, has never been greater. Um, and that requires a transformation in the way that schools work because they weren't designed to do it, so they have to be redesigned if they are to do it. Um, but there's a big cultural imperative here too because the world is getting more complicated. It's getting more connected. It's becoming more challenging. And many of the challenges that we face collectively as a species are cultural as much as they are environmental. And finding ways to live together in the world that's become more nuanced, more interdependent, more dynamic, uh, more connected, uh, is really a task for education. And the third big reason, I think, to promote creativity in schools is personal. In the end, it's about people finding fulfillment in their own lives, lives that add up to something, that have purpose and have meaning, and that people feel uh, are helping them find their own course in life, one that matters to them and to other people. And for all these reasons, creativity to me is not an option, it's an absolute necessity. Mm -hmm.